Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, my name is Sebastian and I have celiac disease. Celiac disease is the reason why the gluten-free diet exists. Uh, my body is incapable of digesting gluten and my small intestine actually becomes damaged if I eat even just a little bit, like one bite. So before I cut gluten out of my diet, I actually lost 60 pounds in about three months. But with the gluten-free diet, I was able to heal entirely back to full health. The trouble is finding good gluten-free food. Most people are aware of the terrible reputation uh, gluten-free food has, even if they don't have celiac disease. I tried every gluten-free bread and baking mix in the grocery store, but I was the only person in my house eating them and only because I had no choice. The bread is dry, crumbly, dense, and flavorless, no matter if you buy the frozen stuff from a store or the fresh loaves from a specialty bakery. When I was diagnosed, restaurants didn't even have many gluten-free options and they rarely had gluten-free bread. If they did, it was actually the frozen stuff that they ran across the street to buy from the grocery store. Um, I had to stop eating at most of my favorite places and it actually became really difficult to even join my friends for plans for a night out. So I'm sure you can imagine how isolating that feels. Uh, I began experimenting with creating my own flour blends and bread recipes and eventually I started selling my fresh bread at a farmer's market. It turns out I'm not the only person unhappy with gluten-free products. The entire co community is and everyone has the same complaints. So by listening to those complaints and by listening to feedback on my bread in particular, I was actually able to refine my recipes and make some crowd pleasing loaves that sold out every week. Most of my customers didn't even have celiac disease. And that's when Dojo is founded. Dojo specializes in creating the most delicious gluten-free breads and baking mixes that are meant to make celiacs feel like they aren't missing out on a thing. We accomplish this by listening to our customers, experimenting endlessly and through our dedication to our ingredients. With eight years of gluten-free baking experience, I've spent a lot of time practicing and learning how to use a wide variety of gluten-free grains to create the proprietary flour blends that we now use and sell. To ensure that our customers will get the same results from our baking mixes, we're also gonna be creating a step-by-step -step tutorial videos across a range of platforms. Dojo's goods have competitive pricing, but we're more thoughtful about our ingredients. Being gluten-free is our primary concern, but some people with celiac develop an intolerance for oats as well. So naturally we do not use oats but many bakeries and goods do use oat flour, which means despite being gluten-free, many celiacs, myself included, still cannot eat any of their products. The existing corporations that sell gluten-free sell it at a premium and only in a few stores. They mainly use white rice flour and they add preservatives and loads of sugar. Specialty bakeries might have decent gluten-free bread, but it contains other allergens and even more sugar than the commercially produced goods. These bakeries are also retail focused, so they only supply their goods to a handful of restaurants within a city. Dojo aims to make an exceptional product across all standards and make that product as widely available as possible. The gluten-free food market, it's a $4 billion industry and it's actually expected to nearly double by 2026. Mm -hmm. Besides celiacs and people with gluten intolerance, the main driving force is people without celiac who avoid gluten or PWAGs. PWAGs are anyone who chooses a gluten-free option if it's available, even if they don't exclusively eat gluten-free. Because PWAGs are not dedicated to a gluten-free diet, we don't include them in our beachhead market of 40,000 Tucsonans, but we do plan to capture them in our serviceable available market, through, though uh, that increases the number to 330,000 Tucsonans. <clears throat> our revenue streams will be from business to business contracts almost entirely. We intend to supply restaurants with fresh baked bread in the form of small but frequent orders, delivering to each restaurant several times a week. And we'll also supply grocery stores with monthly orders, uh, just much bigger orders and exclusively our dry baking mixes. As we grow, we'll be able to drop our cost of goods substantially. By year two, we'll move into the Phoenix market, and by year three, we'll be in stores and restaurants all throughout both Tucson and Phoenix, at which point we'll begin to lay the foundation for moving into the surrounding states. So far, we've sold bread to 1,000 people and sampled it to 4,000, and we just finished product validation for our, our line of baking mixes. We're currently designing our product packaging to be fit for a grocery store shelf, and we found a certified gluten-free commissary kitchen that we're reaching out to to see if that would be a good place for us to start. Social media is not our strength, and that will be the first area that we look to hire someone to help with, but we have started an Instagram page, a Facebook page, and a website to get us going. Next year, we hope to obtain seven restaurant contracts and three grocery store contracts. Uh, we'll steadily grow from there over the year, and we expect our startup cost to total around $20,000. While Dojo's goal is to make the best gluten-free bread around, our motivation is to return the joy of mealtime to those with celiac or gluten intolerance. Mealtime should be a time to restore yourself after a day's work, to connect with family and friends, and to nourish yourself with good food and good company. That is the experience being negatively impacted for celiacs, and that is what we hope to restore.
Thank you for your time. We're ready to open up to questions.